I am going to show you how to add these little icons to your folders, which I think is a really good idea if you teach the primary grades. That way you can refer them not only by color to which folder they're working in, but also the picture. And it really is pretty easy to do. So the first thing you're going to do is just like normal, you're going to add your folder, choose your color, um, we'll do green, and title it to whatever content. Actually, I think I'm going to do writing. I forgot what icon I chose. It's one thing that kind of drives me crazy is they always kind of use your last thing that you title the folder. in. Um, so then when you go to description, this is where you're going to add in your icon. So you go over to the insert content image and then um, you can go ahead and already have um, downloaded your image or if you know where to get it on the web you can do that. I always download mine. I have a million things on my desktop and I choose it. So there's my pencil and paper and it comes in really huge and I don't necessarily want my icons to um, take up the whole screen. So you click on your image and click on the little picture icon and then change your just your first dimension. I've been doing 50. If you think that's a little bit small, maybe do 75 or 100. Just kind of, you know, do what works for you. Don't forget, though, you do need to scroll down and update. It doesn't show up, so it's real easy to forget. Once you've got your image resized, um, then do your little description. We will work on writing in the green folder. I think I've been saying this. So do your little description and then click on create. And so there are my folders. So I have my math folder with the girl with the numbers, my boy reading and paper and pencil with just a little description. So that's how you do it. Um, again, if you're teaching primary grades in particular, or, you know, maybe um, a lot of ELL kids that might need these picture clues to help them navigate your course.